Okay, so that's what we have for. Well, that's what we need to plan a boat for it. For planet something beginning with an X. Really don't know the planet name, but it's not that hard. Planet Snevlik. Snevlik. Anyway, uh, it's not that hard once you get the use, once you get the rhythm of it. You just need to make sure you just also don't fly into the walls. Because I was, I was uh, recorded this once and then it crashed. But basically, what I was also saying was uh, just what to do for this and how, for some odd reason, there's walls in this. You can actually jump up off of some walls. You cannot jump up off. Some other reason they make that wall, the wall you can jump up off, off of. Very good. Anyway, there's Planet Bolt. Should be moving on to the scale point. I'm pretty sure there's only one scale point and one go bolt on Planet Schneeblack. One scale point and one go. Planet Bolt's one. Because oh, Ratchet Clank one. Anyway, we're going to it now. I'm going to cut. Every kind of wee Amy bit because that would take it up to about 15 minutes, which would add another 10 minutes for this video. But instead, I just thought I'd show you like you can, from where I shoot the visor bombs off, you can kind of gain where I'm shooting from and what point I'm shooting from. But you just need, no, you just need to wait for ships to fly around and then you can kind of get to them. For some odd reason, I haven't, I didn't think of hiding down there, this big bit I just passed there. You could hide down there and then shoot up. At, uh, these things that are going by, but for some odd reason I didn't think of that at the time. So I stay here, well, on the main bit there next to the ship, where every single one is. Whereas if you're kind of watching us at first, you're kind of going, he's firing them off and then getting a perfect shot nearly every single time. What the fuck? But I'm not. I guess that's kind of showing this next part. Well, there's a little bit of a jump. But, uh, you don't have to just use the visible bombs, you can also use uh, this gun, as I would call it the Devastator, since it was called the Devastator in Ratchet Clank 1. And you had to shoot down a ship using the Devastator in Ratchet Clank 1. Good times. I did do a few of these Navy shots at times. They worked. Some some paid off, some some didn't. I'm a, I would say I'm a bit of a, I, my maths bit would take, my maths mate would take over and say right he's there I have to guess what kind of speed he's going at and guesstimate him or how far they're ahead to shoot. It's kind of the same for sniping. Usually if you're really good at maths you're really good at sniping. Because you can guess what speed they're going at, look in front, look how far they're going and then think right how and think, right, okay, if I shoot now, uh, the bullet should go and reach his head and blow his brains out by this time here. Yeah. It works at times, it doesn't work at times. At first I, over I thought I overshot this guy here and then I was like, I'll, I'll run right back around and try him. And I did. Uh, and then again, just, uh, flying under this thing, you can actually see if you're going there. I think it would be much easier to actually go in there and start firing at these people instead of having a distance. So that works. That worked for me. We have shoot out 14, so I think I've shot down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This could be the 13. That looks like, yeah. Yeah, this is 13. So this would be the 14th, which would be the last one. Uh, I always think the Divisible Bombs is it? I like the Divisible Bombs about the first one, but I can't even remember. I thought there was something that it's like he used it and it had a wee fork in it at first. I thought that was the Divisible Bombs. It's been that long since I played the But I highly doubt it did. That's how you get both of them and I unlock something in the show. So I'll see you next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye!